we go. Okay. Cool. That works. This is so much better than small screen mode. There's Cyrillic. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. I'm actually going to take some of the advice from our YouTube viewers. Oh, I'm chewing a bite of toast. I know, I um, was going to grab a wedge of cheese, but you they called me. They said that the roads are way better in Russia. And worse in Ukraine. Well... <laughs> Yeah, but toast, honestly, toast and coffee is, I think, my favorite way to play this game. In the morning with toast and coffee. Toast sounds so good, and I'm not eating it right now. Too early for PvPing people. Too early for VR. Well, not everybody is a walking Adonis, and so I, unfortunately, need to eat low-carb, and I can't have toast. But I do have a wedge of Cambozola, which, strangely enough, does not make me gain weight, unlike toast. Well, I had a friend over the other day who cooked some pasta made from lentil and something else, so not everything has to be made from grain. We, yeah, well, let, lentils still have some carbs. That's but, true, uh, starches and whatnot. Yeah. I made the tastiest uh, warm salad last night. I, I sautéed up some summer squash and some eggplant in a mixture of like lemon juice and olive oil and balsamic vinegar and I fried up some chicken and I used olives and feta cheese and this eggplant red pepper sauce and some creamy uh, cheese stuff and spinach. Look at that, we're the travel oh. channel and the cooking channel all in one. Yeah, it was so good though. Oh, it was so good. So this coffee... Google. This coffee mm -hmm. isn't actually in me yet, so uh, my wits may not be there, but but this is cool. We're actually learning from our viewers. Our viewers are telling us. We are learning from our viewers, you know, yes. they're having fun telling us how ignorant we are. Yeah. But you know what? I've learned that... how little I know. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that glorious? Because the person who knows nothing and, and realizes they know nothing, they're open to learning everything. I think the saying goes, the person who knows nothing is... The person who knows they know nothing is wisest of all. Was that Plato or was it Socrates? It, I think it was Plato. Empty your cup, no, I mean motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's a there's an old um Buddhist story where there's this monastery full of monks, right? And the the old monk that's the head of the monastery is getting ready to die and he's trying to decide who to give the monastery to. So he has all of his students line up from, you know, the, the first student to the last student. And he has this bucket full of water sitting in front of him. And wow, they just fucking leave the... T it's like tire art. You could swim in this. So maybe Ukraine, according to our users, right? Yeah, um, well, didn't, didn't they also say that... Didn't they also say that, like, it depends on where in Russia when it comes to quality of birth? But, um... So, the first student says, Master, it is a symbol. Because, because he asks, what is this bucket here? What is this? And, and he says, Master, it is a symbol of the infinity of the universe and our place within it. He's like, okay, all right, next. Master, it is everything and it is nothing. It is the mind filled and, and unready to gain knowledge. Okay, next. And one by one, all of the students give all of, is that a well? Give all of these really profound answers. And finally, the janitor is, is the last person there. And the monk looks at the janitor and he says, what is this? And the janitor says, well, that's the bucket I used to wash the tatami mats. And the monk gave the monastery to the janitor. Got him. <laughs> Speaking of buckets, uh, are these folks like heading to the? Okay, I'm really fascinated with the uh, automotive part art. Like these folks, they are working with what they have and they are creating something with it. We're in Tarkov. Yes. This look at this jolly it's fellow a, it's here. A, it's a scav from Tarkov. <laughs> 
I have not played that game, but it'll probably go about as well as the Hunger Games did for me. Um, Storm outlived me, although I did tell so, her to hide. I think at this point, I think at this point, we have only so much to go on. We Look at this. Sh- <laughs> we have the shitty fucking roads. They didn't even blur his face out. He could sue Google for <laughs> how much money? Who knows? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he's so important. He's got this someone... look on his face like, can you believe this shit right now? <laughs> I love the look on his face. He's got a tracksuit, to be fair. What the fuck? Yes, he does. Look, three stripes. Yeah. <laughs> he does have the three strike stripe. Well, but, you know, um, it's very neat. Neatly laid out. Let's see if our viewers pointing us in the right direction. Shitty roads, okay. Cyrillic, tracksuits. Ukraine, huh? Tire art. Tire art, yes. The tire art feels significant. If we had to sum up our experience here. Tire art mm. and tracksuits. Tire art and tracks. See, now, I would think Russia. But we've been told that the roads in Russia are, are good. Uh, you know, every time we were there, I'm always like amazed at how good the roads are. Yeah. So you never know. As and these roads are not. And in fact, like Google, like they did not go down here. They were like, nope, we're not. To be, to be fair, this is some backcountry road though, so you never know. Yeah. Oh, look here. Wait, Wepha. Can you not try to how read that? Because that's not how that sounds. I'm sure it's not, but I swear I've seen that name before. Mm. Is why I look at it. I don't know. Yes, possibly. Possibly. I'm not even sure if this is paved over here. It's it's actually kind of difficult to tell. I guess it is. It is paved. It's just it got mud. Paved. It's got mud on top of it. This is very muddy. I used to read this blog called English Russia or something like that. That had all kinds of really fascinating things about Russia on it. And the reason why I always diss Russian roads is that they had a lot of posts about how awful Russian roads are. And this was in the 90s, though. But once again, yeah, I sympathize. They... Living in a place that gets yeah. snow and ice, ice just tears up the road every time. Absolutely. And it's I feel so like I'm beating a dead massive. horse, though. Yeah, I say this every time we play the game. Let's, okay. uh, let's choose a spot in Ukraine. Okay, let's see. Uh, I choose you. Oh, gosh, Moscow. it's near Moscow. It's like right by fucking... It's like... Mm! It's annoying. Mm. Well, well tire thank track you for suits. the advice, friends. Looks like your uh. roads suck after all. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Way to be diplomatic. I love it. <laughs> Can we get more hate comments? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that those people are like our best viewers, though. It's great. Vant, that almost looks French, but it's hard to tell. Vant Faust. Or maybe it's Latin. I don't know. Uh, can we? No, I guess not. All right, let's see what other signs there are. The road signs can tell us a little bit, like... Okay, well, that one can't, but, you know. I love this is, how they... This is a bad road edition. Yes. Well, actually, no. Look at how smooth that is. Yeah. That's a smooth road right there. That one is. It's not even, like the even road... Even the cracks are smooth. Yeah, like like when I call you and I ended up I end up going... Oh, that's not so good. Yeah, but it's a, up... that's like a smooth crack, though, if I'm making any yes. sense at all. Satellite? Sat- Salitu? Hmm. Is that like Scandinavian? Of some kind? I wish Roosevelt was here. He'd probably Maybe. be able to read that shit. He'd be like, yeah, that's, that's five blocks from my house. That's the tree stump that I dug up the other day. Um. Oh no, I've completely lost... I've lost it. I've lost what I was, was going to say. It's okay. Oh yeah, that's a preponderance of letters there. 
normal and in, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not like the road that I drive on when I when I've called you guys in in voice chat or joined the voice chat. And you're trying to have a conversation and suddenly it sounds like I don't know somebody's running a chainsaw on my tires very loudly and you have to mute me. Like they make that part of the road really noisy, I think, so that people don't fall asleep at the wheel and kill everyone as much. But... Uh, uh, okay, wait, that was freaky as fuck. Hold on. It might be because I have sleep deprivation, but I swear I saw a person and then they vanished. No, no, there's a person. There's a person. Yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes. Sometimes the Google driver has to oh. stop and, like, breathe and eat. <laughs> but. but... No, if we keep down this road, they're going to suddenly, like, pop up right in front of the screen. Just, just wait. Just wait. They're going to get us. This is pretty. I'll bet. Oh, oh, oh it's, he's on a bicycle? Maybe it's a bicycle. Oh, no, he's he's gone again. He's behind us. He's... Uh, no. No. I'm scared. Steve, hold me. Um, Pretty little houses. Just I love the these, like birchy little trees there's tree houses there's a ghost bicyclist you know what? i think we're um i think the car is facing the other way so we're like backtracking with the photographs which is why maybe the people look like they're appearing and disappearing they definitely get snow you see roofs like this in iceland yeah. that's really educational in norway yeah that's yeah that specific kind of like metal roof thing you know what? I mean, it might not be Iceland, but that's not a bad ballpark. It's too many trees for it to be Iceland. Like, they don't have dense forests like this in Iceland anymore, but a country that's close to it, I could definitely see. I mean, Iceland does have trees, but they cut all their forests down, like, a long-ass time ago. Well, hello! You don't Whoa, see people in America this? riding that. Is that electric? It's got to be electric. Well, he's walking in the middle of it right now. Oh, what it's, is this contraption? It's like that, is that a walker? It's like a double scooter walker. It's like a Tony Stark walker. Badass Viking grandma. She could, she could she could totally do like the the half pipe on this thing. Look at that shit. That's awesome. Like. She can walk, but she can also kick off of it. And the X just, Games, like... X Games Walker Edition. <laughs> That's because you know this is. I'm quite sure this is some part of Scandinavia, and you know, she's probably gonna go raid a monastery and then bring back the goods in her little basket there, and Good and ale. like slide down a van banister Good while drinking ales. a horn of mead. Let's go here. I want to go to here now. <laughs> now that thing is pretty cool when I'm old and even more broken than I am now I want one of those I'm going to drive a rascal with spoilers <laughs> I want to be able to like have flames okay we are definitely definitely this is fucking Norway or something this is either Norway keep or it, Finland keep it on the, keep it on the. This this is, is, here's one of these like I love how they got like the little roofs over their mailboxes. That's fucking adorable. It's adorable, but also means they get a terrifying amount of snow and hail and ice. Ah, uh, yes. Hail. It, it, I used to have the rune poem for hail for Hagal. Hagalaj memorized it. It whirls out of the let's, sky. Let's racially profile these people. They white as fuck, and their dog is pooping. They're so white that it looks like they've never seen any sun below, like, the 200th line of latitude. Yeah. Their dog and, is and wearing it's... a sweater. <laughs> or at least a, a harness of some sort. It's, it's cold as fuck here, yeah. So far we've established it's cold and they use, they use uh, Scandinavian symbols above their vowels. Mm -hmm. Look at that Even truck. Their, 
industry, keg of industry gives mm-hmm. a lot away. I was just gonna say the industry industry gives a lot away. I've learned no. the companies that are involved in like industrial stuff. Like that's another thing I learned from playing this game. It's like you can learn so oh, yeah. much from those companies and the trucks and the brands. So when the Russian mafia finally gets revenge for his dish dissing their country and black bags us and leaves us somewhere in the middle of nowhere we might be able to find our way back if you leave me in the middle of nowhere please don't let it be on one of your roads (laughs) the last thing i want to die from is tripping (laughs) twisting my ankle in a pothole (laughs) you motherfuckers I have a very dear friend who's Russian, and I only speak a few words of Russian. So it took a long time before, like, it took like three conversations before I realized she wasn't trying to talk to me about her favorite kind of hedge when she said hello to me. Because, hmm. uh, Privet, P R I V E T, or, 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 or something like that. Privet is, is, a, is a kind of hedge. You know, but she she was saying hello. That's how you say hello. Well, hello. Well, I, I suppose okay. I should say something nice and and reply. So basically, so I have these friends. One of them is like Ukraine. She's like a Ukrainian model. The other one's a, Ru- a American Russian dude who's like lived in America for like a decade. But they took us to this awesome place in Manhattan with authentic Russian food, like legitimately one of the most authentic restaurants in Manhattan. I forget what it's called, but I can look it up. And the mm-hmm. food was amazing, truly. Like I like it. Oh. It's um. I like wintry, hearty meals, and like mm-hmm. everything we ordered was wintry and heartery. We, I, I wish I could remember the names. Um, we had um, yeah, one of the things we tried was potato dumplings, so good with like onion in it. Ooh, and then yeah. there were these like pastry things at the end that were also amazing. I just, I wish I remember the names of the stuff. There, yeah, your, your food is like awesome. Pierogi- guys. Your food is awesome. It's way better than yours. I love, yeah, p- pierogies and pierogies. There's this Russian bakery that's in San Francisco that is amazing. It used to be um, run by these really mean women, but they made really good food. Pekala. Okay. Karniarvi. Karniarvi. Look at that accent above the A. Definitely yeah. cool. I like those kind of accents. Me too. I had um, a Norwegian friend uh, when I was younger. His name was Hakan. Hoken. Hoken. It's pronounced Hoken, but it's spelled H A with a little double dot. K O N. Mm-hmm. And his brother was Hovarth. Very nice. cool kids. Very cool kids. Those he are... still he still says hi on Facebook once in a while. Yeah, he still yeah. says happy birthday. I should really get in touch with him. I'm a bad person. Yeah. But he's doing well. <laughs> he he sent me when I was younger, he we would be pen pals for Bixie to move back. I had a lot of friends who mm-hmm. were like UN kids. So they would yeah. always like move back out. And so like he, he would send me a model of one of the trolls. They have these giant statues of trolls in Norway. It's like part of their nice. mythology and stuff. Yeah, mm mm-hmm, yeah. Look at that fishing operation. That's pretty cool. I'm feeling Finland. I don't know why. I'm feeling Finland. Uh, You know why? Because I I watch the order speak in Finnish a lot, and Mm. it looks like like this writing. Mm, Okay. The order is, yeah. Go on. I've always kind of ended up with some Icelandic friends. I had a friend with with a very Icelandic name, which is uh, Trigvi. Trigvi is a very Icelandic name. I never heard of that one. I don't know too much about Icelandic culture. Not too much about it. Oh, it's pretty awesome. I really want to go to Iceland. I really do. If I do, I'm going to try in all my power to at least meet Colt for a day or two. He's very down to earth. He he wants to come to America and do a road trip on like a, one of the classic American cars, which is such a cool thing to do for a car fan. Just Americana. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, he did. He came down to he went down to Florida actually uh, a season or two ago. He had a great time. Oh, nice. Well, dude, and his cars, yeah. Yeah, um, Icelanders are very, they're very passionate people, and they have very cozy sweaters. They do eat horses, so. But, um, Icelandic horses are amazing. They're, well, they're, they're cute, fluffy pony like horses, but do not call them ponies to Icelanders. They will not, they will not take well to that at all. They are horses. Um, but they're very fluffy, and they have a, a special gait called a tolt. And the tolt looks silly, but it's incredibly smooth. Like, you could drink a glass of champagne while sitting on a horse riding the, the tolt. And they can go up to 25 miles an hour in that tolt. And they're so fluffy, too. Your international right. trivia never ceases to amaze me. 
<laughs> I think I think it actually makes this game more fun. To like just I'm just learning so many random things. I love I love obscure facts and trivia. Did you know while horses are obligate herbivores, they actually do have a little bit of omnivorism in their diet. They will occasionally yeah. eat a bird. Well, there was a war horse, a mare, who ate one of the soldiers that killed her rider. Wait, wait, don't let's look at this house. If we actually, we can't go in the driveway, can we? No, we can't. But um, we can get closer to it. But yeah, I know horses sometimes eat little things. But here's something here interesting there. about Iceland, even though we're not in Iceland, but we're close to it. Uh, in the winter, well, they they for a certain time of the year, all Icelandic horses pretty much are allowed to run free in a giant like mega herd out in the out in the in the hills. Um, nice. But in the in the winter, when it's really cold, they put barrels of salt fish out for the horses to eat because it gives them protein and energy and salt. And they will eat the fuck out of some salt fish. So, like, they will actually choose to regularly eat meat. How about that? How about them apples? Mm -hmm. Or them them pieces of salt fish. I've I've had hard fisker. A friend of mine shipped some to me. It was pretty good. I would let's eat see. it. Whoa, whoa, let's see what's going on in this guy's driveway. He's, oh, got, like whoa. A, he's got like a ship industry. mast next to a car. Wow. Yeah. He's ready to go somewhere, but he hasn't quite decided where yet. So let's narrow down our options. I don't know anything about Danish, um, like words and their etymology and how they look. Yeah. So uh -huh. Denmark is not out of the question simply because of my ignorance. Finland is at the top of my list right now of where it could be. Um, okay. yeah. could be Norway, some bumblefuck part of Norway. Could be. Bumble I mean, Pokemon. Sweden. Sweden obviously is wedged between the two, but I don't. I'm not feeling Sweden for yeah. some reason. No, not either. Well, look, but like, if you follow Norway up here, I mean, there's Norway touching, touching Finland. There's blending of everything. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It could be anything up yeah. there. Bumblefuck. That's what. That's what it's, I call bumblefuck. It's pretty cold wherever it is. You know. I, I kind of... Um, I'm feeling Finland. I'm feeling Finland. I'm kind of feeling it too. It's hard to say, but... Um, Some of these trees are not like... They're cold, but they can survive in a lower latitude. So maybe it's like mid to southern Finland. Do you think so? I was yeah, thinking the I mean, northern part, but... There's always so much that we don't know. I mean, we know it's probably not Ulu, because we were there before, and it was a little different there. Well, I don't remember what that was like. Wasn't that where we found the... Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't remember if that was, like, the night where you were, like, obviously nodding off at your chair, because you started going silent. We didn't record that one. Yeah, well, uh, <coughs> there's one or two videos I didn't post, um, just because I, yeah. they were either lackluster or I was just really tired, and I was sort of just playing for the sake of playing. But today, I'm having a coffee, so my game is on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to racially profile every person I see and criticize all the roads. <laughs> yes, you're very road critical. Sometimes that's all you get. You get a tree and a road. You got to make the best yeah. of it. I'm not good with trees. I should be, but I'm not. Long story. That's another story for another day. I wonder if people in this country also believe that they're getting brain cancer and alien wave signals from these things. I mean, there are some studies about being really close to electrical wires and electrical power plants. There, there, there is some correlation there. It's not good for you. Yeah, no, I can. But that's more that. like that's more that. like the power plants, though. Not necessarily. I, I don't. I think the wires are not so great for you either. Yeah. I think corn syrup's worse than all of it. The number of x-rays I've had. That's another story for another day, too. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, the number of MRIs I've had. They yeah, but those are me those out. are not bad for you, though. Those are not bad for you at all. Those are just like electromagnetic. Uh, it's like the electrons going through your body. It doesn't harm you at all. They used to panic me. But the last time I went, I fell asleep. I think I drooled on myself and the MRI machine a little bit. I mean, that's true. If you're claustrophobic, it's no good for you. But they have open MRIs as well for that, which help. Mm -hmm. yep. I've had MRIs also, as well. Also, I, I tend to drug the fuck out of myself. 
myself. I must have to drive myself. That works as long as it's not a, a brain scan because that can affect your your brain waves. Yeah. No, they've never scanned my brain. They probably should, but they haven't. That's true. You were there for. Well, I don't want to get into specifics on the video, but let's see. I think we're aiming for Finland. Let's take a look at another street sign and see if we see any more vowel symbols. Not on this one. That one's that one's shit. We don't like that street sign. And then then there's like 20 miles with no more street. Yeah, signs. it looks like we're in the middle of the woods now. Should we take a shot in the dark somewhere in Finland? Keep it spicy. Keep it fresh. Sure, sure. This is where we started. This is beautiful though. I do like it. Whatever it is. this is. I love it. Well, I'm thinking. Kind of ah, Roosevelt than... responded. Hmm, let me see if he's willing to jump yeah. in. Wait, 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 wait! Don't choose yet. Don't choose yet. Maybe he'll be able to answer this one for us. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh he can't really join right now. Um, ah. shit. Yeah, go shoot in the dark. Okay, shot in the. Dark. Wait, 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 wait! Don't hit it yet. Let me see if he wants to join. messaging him. I'm asking if he can join for just a minute to tell us if it's Sweden or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing if that piques his interest. I don't want to pressure the man. Um, let's just look on the other side of the road that we haven't checked while I wait for his reply and see if we can get any more information. That would be going this way. Uh, he's in voice. Uh, send him an invite to the group, please, because I don't want to tab out with my Is video. That... Just send, okay. send him an invite to our group call. No. How do I do that? Just give me a moment. Let me. Uh... There should be an add add friend button on the top right of the voice call that we're in. Okay. Let's see. Help and then you just choose it. Rose, and then it's like a little person symbol with a plus sign. But this will be so great. So yeah, our friend Roosevelt here, uh, Roselvet to be precise, <clears throat> A.K.A. Alexander, is going to jump in. He lives in Stockholm. And he's Swedish. His English is fantastic. It's really good. Um, but we're going to see if he's able to help us with this one because he can identify Norwegian, oh. Swede. Oh, here he goes. Here, put the screen share back on. Are you there? Hey. He's yeah. calling. Yeah, he's calling. He's calling. He's, he's going to jump in, I think. But as I was saying, yeah, so Roosevelt <clears throat> will definitely be able to help us identify whether or not this is Swedish, Finnish, Danish, or Norwegian. Uh, is he in the call? Roosevelt, are you there? No, he's still calling. I thought he, I thought he was. No, 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 you gave him the call. Yeah, here he is, here he is. Roosevelt, you are on, uh, I'm recording this for a video. Okay, are you able to hear us? Uh, yeah. So basically this game is called GeoGuessr. It drops you in the middle of nowhere on Google, Google Street View and you have to guess what the country is. Can you help us identify this language as we look around? Are we in Finland? Uh, I think we're in Finland. Finland. Yes, I got it right. Okay. So then this is how this works. I've choose a location on the map. We're going to take a shot in the dark of where it is in Finland. Um, we were just about to choose and then you responded. I'm like, oh, let's get him in here. Um, <laughs> and so the game is great. And the closer you get to the location, by by literally by the meter, you get more points. And there's, it's like yeah. you do five five right. rounds per round. So we've been playing this a lot in the past like two weeks. And I've been putting up videos and it's been so much fun. We've been getting better and better, and uh, we've been <gasps> learning. We've been learning. We've been learning a lot from each other. Oh, she found it! Look, there it is, Finland. Oh! Van Sorry, that's that horrible names. Okay. Let's see how many. Uh, we are. One one point four kilometers away. Well done, F. Well done. So nice. Rose, I know you're busy today, but you should really join more often because you can have a European perspective on this and help us out and fill in the gaps that we don't know about. Oh wow! Look at this road here. Yeah, and we have. Uh, we, it's funny because we always criticize the Russian roads, and we get people commenting about how wrong we are about Russia every time. <laughs> <laughs> we we the Russians enjoy exposing our ignorance, and but we don't mind. Okay. And one time Steve. they're like, that's what you get for thinking the roads yeah. suck because <laughs> we got it wrong. You don't know time. shit. <laughs> okay, so we're in a new country here. This one it looks Scandinavian as well. Let's have a closer look. It could be Canadian. White people. Well, yeah, it could be Canadian. I mean, uh, just a sec. Do you have a time or anything? Or... Oh, nope. Oh, see, now look at that window style. 
Building style. Uh, broken ass down sheds, though. Means not Switzerland. Because uh, I've never found shoot, anything. Shoot an invite to Mindy. Shoot an invite to Mindy right now, please. She's she's willing to join us as well. Okay, let's... Add Everybody's going to jump in this one. It's going to be a team one effort. More, more. Oh, oh, oh. She's, uh, she's going to let her dogs out first. Okay, well, she'll she'll show up when she shows up. We're gonna. Wow, this is a. Uh... This is. I wouldn't call this paved necessarily. That's gravel. That's yeah, it's a like graded gravel. Uh, let's racially profile this person. <laughs> white. <laughs> oh, is that a red and white hat? Is that a Danish um, flag? That is. Hey, I guess. Uh, look to the left. All right. So you see the. Oh, uh, can you zoom in on the uh, on the license plate? Oh yeah, well, see the that's we try not to use license plates because it's a little cheesy. Because obviously that'll just tell well, the country. They're but, uh, blur oh, there's a bear. There three on each side. Is your they blur them. Google Google, Google blurs faces and and license plates. I know, but you can still see if there are three of them. Three on each side. Yeah. Three uh, license. But that's like, there. but that's like a giveaway. We try to, okay, we try so to do if it. You look at the, if you look at the barn, you have that classic red uh, color, and that is yep. also very Swedish-like, but it's rather Scandinavian, northern Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely There's Scandinavian. There's a certain style of window that y'all use up there too, and this kind of metal roof for snow to slide off of. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at this guy riding the bike. Isn't this could be a Danish flag hat, or it's, just maybe a red and white a, hat? A woman. Um, no, they got just a regular um, hat. reindeer, reindeer hat. on the hat, though. That you know could be. Could very well be Swedish. Take uh, a look at the road sign. Let's let's do let's use your language powers. Korpsian. It kind of looks like uh, Finnish again. Mm. Yeah, this seems like. It's it's a, a taste of Finland and and Russia. Which yeah, we so far didn't... we've done Russia. We thought it was Ukraine. We we dropped the ball on that we one. We took somebody's advice. Yeah, but it turns out the the roads are shittier than I thought. And it was only a couple of kilometers from uh, Moscow, too. Yikes. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Got to work on those roads, Russia. They just have so many of them, though. That's huh. true. I'm just busting. I'm just busting their balls. Russia is a yeah. fantastic place for borscht. I love borscht. I love uh, Mongolian food too, man. I like vodka too. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this house here. What do you think, Earth? All right, what are what are these what are these things here? Because this is the second one of these that I've seen. Yeah, what is that, dude? Is that a well? Roosevelt's probably ass deep in a league game right now, so I wouldn't bother him too probably. much. Probably. What? Would I? Yes. So what is that thing, Rose? What What is this? Oh, what is this Scandinavian it. oddity? Um, I can't. I can't look right now. Yeah, you're in league. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the keyboard going. <laughs> Okay, well. The food is good here, too. Find Are some more words so Roosevelt can just tell us where warm, it is. Keep you warm kind of food. 60. The sign that tells you the speed is yellow with red. Instead of white with red. It's a charming little hamlet. All these, everything is in red. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, here's a road it's sign. Awesome. Might as well use your word powers. It's right, called. Give me, a, give me a sign. Um. I want to. Oh no, they they thought it was a uh, Google Google's algorithm thought it was a uh, U U K K O. Player. Is that an L I U or a U U? This is as far as I can zoom in. Let me see if I can catch it from the other side. Yeah, that would be it's... best. Because it's blurred out from down this side. Oh, oh, God, this is so hard to read. It is. We might need to find a 
We'll find, an, yeah. we'll find another one. Yeah, we'll find another one. Zoom back I'm out. Sure this is killing my eyes. Here we go. Look Let's at the look happy here. family. Let's, Let's racially close. profile them. They are whiter they're, than they're snow. Cold white people, and that one's flashing a. Uh, I'm holding my glove sign. Actually, that are not flashing a sign at all. I just have lived in the city for too long. Uh, okay, here, here we, we go. go. Good game, everybody. How to Halcia. Periosa. Perosa. Hata Perosa. Let's see if we. Aw. Oh. Thinks it's a license plate. That That's fine. Really yeah, let's go with Finland again. Okay. Salomjartin. Yeah, okay, so. Somewhere in Finland. Well, this is even more. Me too. Let's go. Knifers, so. Okay. I'm going to go with, like, uh. Further north in Finland, then. Yeah, I would say I think it was further north than the one we were just on. You can tell by the bio, the BIOS. Yeah, that's definitely Finland. If you look at the name, it's like. Oh, yeah. uh, yep, we got it. It's Finland. We got Finland, but. Three sixty-two miles. Too far north, Five hundred eight but... kilometers. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to narrow it down like, without finding a that town name. Ooh, look at this one. This look isn't this Finland. One. This is no, not Finland. This is much warmer. Warmer and even shittier road. We got uh, red soil. We have got. We have a developing country on our hands. That's just a that's just a guess because we're just seeing the first look at it. But it could also be Brazil yet again, you know. Which is arguably a developing country. Uh, well, second, second, actually, so they they say Brazil is going from second world to first world at a rapid pace. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Oh, water. I'm going with the same philosophy as Trump is. Oh. Uh, we try to keep we try to keep politics somewhat out of it, um, just enough so that we can identify certain things, but we try not to get too much into the too too much despair. Otherwise, so yeah, I was got... going to send you something political today, Roosevelt, but I forgot it. So yeah. so these I'm... trees, um, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I'm trying Wait, to think of the climate. A... Looks like an Look egret, egret of some kind, a crane or egret, it's... or just a. Just a log that we thought was a bird. No, no, no that's, that's a bird. bird. That's some kind of egret. Or it's a raptor. No, it's like an egret. Let's keep looking. Um, so we have it's dirt roads. We have stormy clouds, which mean nothing. Um, yeah. Somewhat jungly looking. This plants, is not jungly. This is not. It's jungly. not a jungle, but I mean, like, I'm not sure how to explain that but a little more equatorial you know what you and i need to do to play this game we need to better define our climates because i think we yeah. sh we kind of use those like pretty flimsily because there's did. there's specific terms for the different biospheres yeah we need biomes we need to get biomes. our biomes down biomes. Yes, I remember that. from is that the okay i thought that was the end of the road from what i was gonna be slightly annoyed there's a lot of clear land here too and i it's, wonder if uh, it's dry it seems somewhat dry so yeah, quite, well, quite has... the opposite of a jungle or rainforest it's very dry okay yeah but i mean the trees look like closer to the equator than fucking finland yeah absolutely is what i was, what I was trying to say definitely well warmer. it could just be definitely that warmer. there was forest that was clear cut for cattle because look, look what we got going on here. I, I mean, I think this looks largely undisturbed for a very long time as far as clearing of land and stuff like that. It looks mm -hmm. very natural, undisturbed. Well, see now, but now we got like dense plants. Well, that's because we're going down. That's where the water goes. But you go up and it's dry. So whatever water there is, is being completely utilized by the plants. Sure. And then you have the prairie. You have prairies on top. Oh, we got horses. Cow. Cow. Those are not horses. Sorry, cow. Yeah. Yeah, cow. White cattle. Huh. Interesting. I like this because we don't have any words to reference yet or any human buildings or anything like that. Oh, look at the... Are these some... Um, look at... Look at the... You can tell a lot from the cattle. Look at that waddle. You can. You can. I think you know more about that than I do, though. 
now I'm thinking more like like some part of India or something. Um, what, no, they, I mean, see, India they... would fit this environment. But, Somewhat yeah, dry, but with white. lots of plants, warmer climate. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy on the left. There's a guy on the left. Look at that. He's oh, no, a, wait. Oh, a yeah. Look, okay. Oh yeah, no. Look, wait, look, wait. Look the way he's dressed. Okay, no. I'm. I'm now. I'm thinking back, back on our hemisphere again. He's a ranchero. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, red soil isn't that like a marker for um, Africa? Could be, um, but also uh, South America as well. Definitely Africa, South, South America, America, Australia. Um, Australia. I'm thinking actually. Brazil and and the surrounding areas have lots of red soil, like South yeah. America or. Ecuador or something. Yeah, actually. I mean, gut um, reaction is that's a South American, like ranchero with like dude, his this, this cows. He's on a uh, he's on a um, not a horse. He's on a donkey. A mule. Mule, same thing. Mule. Long no, they're not. They're they're. I've never ridden one, but uh, they're. So wait, mules are, mules are the ones that cannot reproduce, right? Donkeys are the yeah, ones. Yeah, they're so a cross a, a mule between is a, a donkey, a donkey and, a and a horse, right? Okay, got it. Yeah, we call them long ears, and they and can they cannot they genetically like reproduce. Yeah. They I've like ridden I'm gonna go back because I'm getting too distracted. Bye. Yeah, but yeah, wait, 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 wait. thank you. Take care. All right, so yeah, I, that's what I thought. We're in cattle country. He's like trying to do work. We're talking about mules. He's like, I can't help you here. We're in South America. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, he just took off. Thanks while we were in Finland two times. Yes. Thank you, Roosevelt. We shall call upon the, the Swedish powers again when we go to Scandinavia. <laughs> we must light the beacon and call Swede men. We should just have people from around the world on call. We'll do like phone a friend every time. Yes. That would be awesome. That would actually. be very cool. That would be actually very entertaining. I I would my Russian friend she's very shy but I would love to bring her in sometime. I seriously doubt I can talk her into it though. Like when she must I be met extremely her, extremely shy. If she doesn't even want to say this is the Russian language and this is Russia. Well, okay. When I met her, it's because I I um I used to be a writer for a magazine, and I tried to contact her to see if I could interview her. That's cool. But she said no, but we started chatting and we ended up becoming friends. We've been friends for like eight years or something. I feel like I'm going forwards and then backwards. I know, it's right? Kind of it's weird. I can't tell if it's just no, 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 no. Right there, right there. No, careful. Don't pull too far ahead. Yeah, do it like that. Yeah, take the baby steps because I think it was bouncing us back somehow. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's oh, the yeah. road. That sucks. Ooh. Can you bring yeah. us back to our origin and then start going in the opposite direction? I can. I awesome. can. So uh, we go this way, I believe. Yes. I hope that's the right way. I believe so. Yes. Um. She's uh one of the world champion uh female knockdown fighters. Uh, nice. And uh, what's the she... what's the type of martial art that she? Oh, hey, welcome, Mindy. Hey. Hey, Mindy. Uh, so we had so we had Rose help us out in Scandinavia two times, helping us confirm that it was indeed okay. Finland. And now we don't know where we are yet, but we saw like a sun-kissed ranchero with some uh, with some uh, the oh, no, cattle. Oh no! There's the bird. Yeah. Did we turn around again, or did we keep going this way? You have the wheel. I don't know. I'm just on for the ride. I think I probably kept going, so we'll go the other direction. Can you bring your mic a little closer, Mindy? Is that better? Barely. A little bit, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't want to bring it down too far because I don't want to breathe in my mic. <laughs> no, you're good. I turned you up 200%. <clears throat> um, All right. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that's why we can't go that way. So so that's that's it. That's all we get. Really? Because, well, this is, this is a dead this, end here. Is this okay. Africa? No. I th no. I th we think it's South, South uh, America. South America. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. so just so you know, we're recording. Just, I like to remind people. Okay. I think maybe we should just take a shot in the dark, um, with our, with what information we have, because if we we only have this many pieces. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Was there an intersection? Never mind. There wasn't an intersection. 
Yeah, well, it was kind of one, but I don't think we can go down it. We can try. No, we can't, damn. Mm -mm. Um, so yeah, we only have so much of the road here. I kind of, it's kind of yeah. cool though. The cattle were really cool. The, those, that's a very. I, I need to learn my cattle breeds clearly. It's <laughs> tricky because this can be Let me see so them. many places with what information Where they we have. Are. Well, let's, I don't, so, I have to see if I can find them again. Well, yeah, what are the, nobody knows the names of, the name of those type of cattle? They're kind of like, I know short, some. they're short, they're white, they have huge horns. They had, well, they had big horns and they had a big old waddle. Now we're at the end of, wait, wait, wait. If oh, you can show them, show there was another up. road there. there. There were two roads to choose from. Mm. There was a three-way intersection. That's what it said, but. Now go back and look in that direction. Go back and look in the direction. Can you stop? Uh, is it the oh. dog or the cat this time? It's a cat. Man, annoying. He wants me to open okay. the window. Uh, no. That was a false flag. Apparently. They, yeah, they're they're pretty cows. They're white with a big old waddle hanging down, and I know I've seen them somewhere. It's not a Brahma bull, but it's. Now keep in mind, uh, Argentina does have a lot of the rancheros, and there are a lot of really interesting cows. The thing is, I don't think this environment, I mean, Argentina's a big old place. Here, go down the road and show her the cows better. Oh, okay, I see. No, no, but go down the road's better. Go down the road's better. Show her the ranchero and the cows. You're zoomed in way too much. Oh, I know, I know, I know, sorry. So go here's, go here's down more. Cow. Go down more. Go down further. Throw the ranch arrow on the left. Zoom in. You yeah. went too far. Go back. Just zoom in. There he is. There's this guy. Okay. He, he could be the guy from the <laughs> Colombian coffee um, <laughs> commercial. Oh, now you're making me make it. I'm going to go make another cup now while you guys talk this over. I'll be right back. Let me I still haven't got my wedge of cheese I was going to get from the fridge. Let me... Not all of them have big horns. No, that look they've got floppy down ears though, which I find interesting. They've got long floppy down ears. I actually think these might be Brahmas. Oh, so okay, so maybe when I was thinking of Brahma, maybe I was right then. They do have yeah. a big old hump, and they do have, so so maybe they are Brahma bulls. Yeah, I'm thinking these are Brahmas. My fiance used to work at a at a 2,000 acre cattle ranch for a little while when he got out of the Air Force, mm. and they had a Brahma bull. He was like the biggest bull on the ranch, but he's a big old baby. Like I'm when pretty. They... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was, I was gonna say I'm about a hundred percent sure these are Brahma bulls. Mm, okay. Or at least Brahma cow cattle of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, the he would like just cry when his cows were split from him. He'd just stand there. <laughs> okay, so my coffee's now pouring. I heard you guys all the time. Brahmas. Um what do we know about that? They're they're actually kind of this docile cattle. Yeah. Yeah, but do we know anything about where they would be ranched? India, just about anywhere. <laughs> Can you zoom in? Zoom in on that guy again. Maybe he's. I don't know. The Indians don't really wear that kind of like. No, this is like this classic is vaqueros, classic yeah. vaquero style. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. The dude does look pretty, pretty suave though. He's like legit classic. He does. He's like... Is he wearing an? Is he riding an ass? <laughs> yeah, he's he riding a mule, mule, mule actually. actually. He riding him a, a, a long ears, which is great in a really rough environment because those things can like run up a cliff, Tell you and what. they will sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Do you want to try Colombia or something or Venezuela? Yeah. I think it could be Colombia, could be Panama, Ecuador. it could be Mex, it could actually be Mexico, believe it or not, it could be Mexico, but it yeah. could be it could be like Panama, Colombia, or Costa Rica even, or Paraguay. It, I think it's somewhere. I think it's somewhere in Central. I, I think it could be Central. Damn it, it's just so hard. There's so many damn countries that this could be. <laughs> My coffee port. I need a sip. 
take a sip. Let it inspire you. Ev, have you been to bed yet? <laughs> no. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep, and, and I haven't eaten yet um, since sometime I'm late last night. Okay, so here's the thing. We have as much information as we're going to get. We're looking at the guy. Uh -huh. We're looking into his eyes. We're, <laughs> we're seeing his life story. Yes. This man is ready to I'll do some Columbia. cattling. I think we were biased because of the Colombian coffee ads, but let's let's go for Colombia. Let's do Colombia because the 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 climate seems, I don't know, it does seem kind of dry, but there is sign of like that it rained. Uh, fuck it, hit it. Yeah, baby. Wow, sweet. Yeah, baby. I mean, it's a different part of Colombia, but like, there's no way we could have been able to tell where exactly it was. Uh, the best part of waking up a is a little bit of Colombia in your cup. A little bit of profiling in your cup. <laughs> Speaking of... That's uh, not an Indian man. That is definitely a Colombian man. Um, Yeah, no, but where are we now? Coca-Cola in... in a sabor a, a que vos sé. Aquí. Que what language is that? Time here. Here, here. A key is here in Spanish. Yeah, no kidding. Not everybody knows that. Zoom in on that family. Zoom cobblestones. In the, zoom in on the family. <laughs> Hello, man. I mean, can you, uh, hello, can you not look at her back? Look at the damn family. There's more information to be gathered from that. Okay, so... They're that, wearing sandals. It's hot. There's no fucking door, is there? There might be a door. No, I've, been to some, I've been to some rural ass parts of Mexico. So, I don't think this... I don't know. This is this is pretty tropical. Satellite, though. Oh, there's banana trees all the way in the back there? I think I see banana trees. All the way in the back Something there. Something tropical looking back there. Yeah. purple houses. They sell Coca-Cola here sometimes. Not today, though. Let's apparently. take a look at those people on the side of the road there. Don't what have what is in his hand? Is that a cell phone or a video game? Zoom in on the... Oh, that license plate is completely exposed. Go down. Sunglasses. NNF 4699. It's white. Zoom it's black uh, letter. Yeah, he's got some kind of cell phone. Everybody got cell phones. No, I know. Like, I just wasn't sure. I was just curious to see what it was. Like, I wasn't even trying to like figure out what country it was. Yeah, these buildings, a lot of them don't have doors. It's just like, you know. You couldn't sing the Three's Company song. Because you can't come knock on the door because they don't have a door. <laughs> I haven't slept. Oh, God. Hello, friends. See if they had like a, a soccer shirt. He uh, does sorry, have a soccer shirt. That's a Brazilian a foot, soccer. That's a Brazilian football. soccer jersey. Is it? Yeah, the ye the yellow one is. I think that's a Brazilian. Mm -hmm. That's a Brazilian soccer okay. jersey. This is probably Brazil. Let's Drop keep going. No, no, no. Let's just keep going. But yeah, I, I can't believe I almost overlooked that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Commercial Santiago, Saint Commercial Saint. I mean, Santiago is a is a. I've been in the city Santiago. of Santiago in the Dominican Republic, but it's also a country. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Build Albuquerque. Are we feeling Portuguese over Spanish right now? Because I'm, well, I'm uh, once again shamefully flag not. Flag these children are in front of. Yeah, but that's not like a country flag. That's some bullshit club flag. Yeah. Well, you never know. There's a town square there. There might be some kind of indicator. The town circle of grass here. Man, I'm. Fascinated by these buildings with no doors. Well, there is some information, but it's blurred out. It's too out. small. It's way too small. Yeah, it's too small. What is this supposed to be? What Probably an unfinished fountain. Keep going down the road I where guess, we're going down. I guess it's like under construction, this little village thing. Uh, well, actually, I, no, 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 yeah, this is the only way we can go, so that's what we're doing anyway. Man, look at these pretty ass yeah, that's a pretty plants they got. So here's the thing. This I looks like this looks pretty fucking tropical. It and there's a kid with a Brazilian soccer jersey. 
Maybe Look at that second. broom she's got there. That's cool. And there are parts of Brazil that are very impoverished. Why did they blur her tits, though? Maybe there was <laughs> writing on the shirt. Maybe she was wearing it. Maybe they thought it was a license plate. <laughs> <laughs> what what sort of what wow. shape what shape are you? License plate shape. Look at this old school. Wow. Tell payphone. This is someplace that rains a lot. Yeah, we're near we're near the Amazon basin in Brazil. We got them. Think so? Got them. Escola Municipal. Yeah, and. Guimar. I am just doing horrible, atrocious things to the language. Wait, what is that? Is that a. Oh. oh. Hi, Puffer. Oh, he's very underweight. He's yeah. Not, he's not necessarily. Mm, he's a him. little. He's a little talk. He's pretty thin. Yeah, yeah but we don't know. Person. We don't know. Well, don't judge us. Don't 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 we, body shame him. Should we pick him up? Should we pull over and pick him up? I've done that, by the way. I have picked up dogs off the side of the road. Well, and that's how I got them. diesel. So. <laughs> and I've and I've had the f previous owner. Like find me, and they were all pissed because nobody. Once again, once again, back. look, once again, green and yellow. That is just a Brazilian thing. Doing a lot of green and yellow. It, it is. I see the Brazilian is. flag. That was you zoom, you zoom in on those words again. Oh, right there, right. That right I don't there. know if that is a flag, but it looks like the Brazilian flag. Let's just keep looking. Sure does around. look like. Municipal assistance social. Let's, what we'll the a, fuck? We'll take a few more steps around, and then we'll we'll drop it. Drop a marker. You keep going in circles. Am I? No, this is just. This is um Oh wait, that is a Brazilian flag. Look at that. Hold on. Zoom in. That's the that's the top left corner of the Brazilian flag. You have the globe, oh, the yellow what? and then the green. Fuck it, we're done. Yeah, Drop it somewhere near the Amazon cool. basin. Not too close to the Amazon basin though. You always say that. Not too close to the Amazon also, basin. Also school is no no, you're way too deep in it. School is uh escuela in Spanish. This is probably Portuguese. Escola. The reason yeah, why I say yeah. not too close to the Amazon basin is I don't think you understand how thick it gets in there. There's like there's no roads, there's no people, there's nothing. It's just nothing but jungle. Um, so this is clearly not in the jungle. So what, like around here maybe? Uh, zoom out for reference. Uh, zo zoom in again. Where where it's the lighter green, not the darker green. So I don't, I don't. It could I be think anywhere. That's a national forest. Oh, yeah, you don't want to drop it in there. Like maybe I don't know around here. Like there's I, a I, town. I don't know. Any anywhere, anywhere. I don't know. I don't know Brazil that well. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try up here. Let's see. Oh, you know. Okay, I was too too far in, too close to the Amazon basin. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying? The light, the light yeah, is greenish. Yeah. But yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's Brazil. Cool. No, that was an interesting town. Actually, let's, we didn't let's do play another. Let's play another. 